Next, we're going to talk about wet measuring cups. So I have a two cup wet measuring cup and a one cup wet measuring cup. We're going to focus on the one cup because that's what most people have at home. It has lines on it that are the measurements that go up to one cup. So it has the one quarter cup and one third of a cup and a half a cup and two thirds of a cup and three quarters of a cup and one cup. And that's great. But the reason we use this for wet ingredients is because if a recipe called for one cup of oil or one cup of milk and the measuring lines extended to the top, you would have to carry that liquid over to the mixing bowl with it up to the top. So this is the same as the one cup dry measuring cup, but if that was filled to the top, you could spill it. So they uh, make the glass big enough that there's room at the top for uh, no, no liquid to go in, and that way you can carry it without spilling it. So that's the reason, very simple reason.